None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What? 
What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you, Anon. Thank you.
tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about it. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. I'm sure you've all guessed. The crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? Certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. RK above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right?
Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands.
come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. It's almost time. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? you at it. Oh. Clive, if you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? Thank you, Yote. I'm sorry. Grace, I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more, and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind.
Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I'll be back. I promise. I know. I love you too. to kill.
going to make us a way in. So, this is Origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your Architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count.
and you only surrender, this unpleasantness could have been avoided. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. No, oh, I'll be all right. And Dion.
press on. Always. What he had to do. And it's time we did the same. <coughs> Should we stop? Yeah, because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. Instead of those waiting for us at home. self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone. Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... I thought... 
it was me. But it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. Flames of the Phoenix. This I once believed would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. Do you remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pull was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Still here with me to the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable. Let's try. 